What's going on everybody? My name is Danny and today I want to bring you my top 10 state parks and forests in New Jersey. If you follow my channel, you know that I'm currently living in El Salvador. Uh, quite a few of the videos that I've posted recently are from El Salvador, but I'm originally from New Jersey. I've lived there uh, over 20 years of my life and I've had the opportunity to go to quite a few state parks and forests in New Jersey. I haven't been to literally every single one. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection actually has uh, 55 protected sites uh, divided between state parks, state forests, recreation areas, and marinas. And so I have not been to literally every one, but I've been to enough that I feel like I can put together a video of my personal top 10, and hopefully it'll help you and your family discover a new place that you can check out and enjoy. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, uh, comment, like it, share it. Uh, and also this shirt is available for purchase, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get into travel vlogging until after I visited many of these parks, uh, and so I don't actually have personal footage from the majority of them. In the case when I do, uh, I'll definitely use my personal footage, but when I don't, uh, I'm going to be pulling footage from the Department of Environmental Protection for the State of New Jersey, either off their website, their Facebook page, or their YouTube channel. And I'll leave links in the description to all of those uh, sites, and also links in the description to uh, videos dedicated that I've made dedicated entirely to some of these state parks because I do have a few of these state parks that I've made videos just entirely of that park and in that those cases I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for that as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. My top 10 state parks and forests in New Jersey. So number 10 is Liberty State Park. And I really wrestled with whether or not to include this on the list because the park itself really isn't super impressive. Uh, but it is the only uh, state park that has access to Ellis Island and to the Statue of Liberty, which are obviously hugely iconic sites, uh, not just in New Jersey, but uh, nationwide. And so for that reason, I felt like it was important to go ahead and include Liberty State Park on the list. It's definitely a place that's worth checking out without a doubt. And so number 10, Liberty State Park. Number nine, Delaware and Raritan Canal State Park. Uh, and this, if you're driving on the road, uh, you may have seen DNR Canal State Park, it's the same park. Uh, but this is a very, very unique park in the sense that it actually spans five different counties. Uh, and it's very thin in the majority of it. It's, it's primarily a biking and running trail. It does have Bulls Island Recreation Area, uh, which is a little bit more than just uh, a biking and running trail. Uh, but it's a really awesome place to check out. Uh, there's bike loops uh, or running loops available for all skill levels. And it's a really beautiful part of the country in North Jersey uh, along the, the Delaware River or along the Raritan Canal, depending on what part of the park you're at. But it's definitely a place checking out. I've biked there. I actually have a video uh, dedicated specifically to that park. I'll leave a link in the description of that. So number nine, Delaware and Raritan Canal State Park. Number eight is Hacklebarney State Park. Uh, Hacklebarney is perfect for a day trip. Uh, again, it's in North Jersey, not so far north that you're getting into the mountains. Uh, in fact, some would say that it's in Central Jersey. Uh, those of us who are from South Jersey, like myself, say that Central Jersey is a mythical place that does not exist. <laughs> but whatever the case may be, however you want to classify it, Hacklebarney State Park is a great place for a day hike. It's perfect if you're uh, a family and you have young kids because the hikes are very, very easy. And it's beautiful. You're going along the river, you have some waterfalls, uh, tiny waterfalls, uh, but waterfalls nonetheless. And it's just a great place to, to spend the afternoon uh, on a summer day or even in the fall. Uh, obviously beautiful with the leaves changing colors. So Hacklebarney State Park, number eight. Number seven is Fort Mott State Park. Uh, Fort Mott, as the name suggests, uh, is a little bit of a, of a more historic park in the sense that it's focused on history, uh, not just on uh, the environment. Uh, but it's a really awesome place to go. If you're from South Jersey, you may even have been there on a field trip at one point because uh, it's definitely a, a location that's popular for that. But even beyond just the history, it's a beautiful location. You're right uh, on the Delaware and you have, uh, you know, the bike trails, um, running trails. Actually, I haven't been there in many, many years, so I actually don't know if you can bike there. If you're biking there and it's against the rules, uh, I apologize <laughs> uh, for saying that. But it's a really beautiful park. It's a beautiful location. Uh, when I was there, you know, many, many years ago, like I said, they had ferry rides available. I don't know if that's still the case. But Fort Mott State Park, definitely a hidden gem of South Jersey. Go ahead and check them out. Number six is Cape May Point State Park. 
And there's several state parks uh, in New Jersey that are along the beach, Corson's Inlet, uh, Island Beach State Park, Cape May, Point State Park. Uh, I've been to all of those, and uh, Cape May State Park for me personally is my favorite. Uh, you have the beach, which is beautiful, uh, and then you also have the lighthouse, uh, which is very iconic in Cape May. Uh, it's the southernmost part of New Jersey, southernmost state park, of course, and, and definitely a place that, that I wanted to highlight. Uh, I love the beach personally. I'm a sucker for the beach, so anytime you have a beach state park, uh, that's definitely a place I love to check out. I had to be very disciplined <laughs> to only include one beach state park in my list. Uh, but Cape May Point State Park is a great place to check out, definitely a place I recommend. Number five is Washington Crossing State Park. Uh, this state park is, again, a very beautiful location. Once you get up north of Trenton, you're pretty much uh, really in a beautiful spot anywhere along the Delaware River. Uh, but beyond just being a beautiful place, uh, probably the most important state park historically uh, in New Jersey. It's not the only state park that highlights history. Obviously at Princeton Battlefield, you have Fort Mont, which I already mentioned in this list, and a really beautiful place for bike riding. Delaware and Raritan Canal Trail actually cuts right through there. And so it's almost like two for the price of one. <laughs> if you go to Washington Crossing State Park, you can cross them both off your list. Uh, so that's number five for me. Number four is High Point State Park. And as the name suggests, of course, this is the highest point in the state of New Jersey, which is not super high. Uh, if you're not from New Jersey, if you're from uh, the West, uh, maybe Colorado or you know any, any of those states uh, in the mountain time zone, <laughs> uh, you probably won't think it's that high. But for those of you from New Jersey, it's a very impressive site. It's a very beautiful site. You can actually see uh, three different states from there. You can see New Jersey, you can see New York, and you can see uh, Pennsylvania. The Appalachian uh, Trail cuts right through there. Uh, and it's really uh, definitely like a bucket list place if you're somebody that's into nature in the state of New Jersey and you're trying to hit like the top state parks without a doubt one of the ones you want to include on the list. So High Point State Park coming in number four. Number three is Bell Point State Forest. And this is a place that I've probably visited more than any other state park in the state of New Jersey. Uh, I used to go there every year with my dad to camp uh, and I've been there in some years more than once even. Uh, and it's just a really awesome park for South Jersey. I know a lot of people like park and Bell Point is my personal preference. Uh, and it has Lake Nummi, which is great for swimming, great for kayaking, for canoeing, fishing. There's plenty of trails. Uh, it's actually a very popular place for stargazing if that's something you're into. Even if you don't have a telescope, there's uh, groups that, that go out there when there's gonna be big, big time events in the sky. Uh, that, that'll take the telescopes, out, the telescopes out in the soccer field. And so you can even just show up and a lot of times they'll let you uh, enjoy it with them. They have group campsites, they have regular campsites. Uh, basically anything you want, uh, you're gonna get at Bell Plain. Beside the mountains, it's in South Jersey, so you don't have the mountains. But other than that, it's a grand, fantastic location. Uh, also uh, a place where eagles can be sighted, so that's obviously awesome. And so Bell Plain State Park coming in for me at number three. Number two is Jenny Jump State Park. And Jenny Jump State Park, in my opinion, is probably the best place to camp in the winter if you're interested in winter camping. Because they actually have available right in the state park uh, log cabins with wood burning stoves. And some people who are purists may say that's not camping, but when it's below freezing, <laughs> that's plenty good enough <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful park. It's in the mountains, and so you got awesome trails, you got awesome views, uh, potential for bear sightings. I don't know if you view that as a plus or a minus, but <laughs> I view it as a plus. I've never seen a bear there, unfortunately. I would have loved to, but it's definitely a great place to, to camp and the log camping, uh, log cabin camping option is great for winter, great for spring, great even for late fall. And it's definitely a place to recommend. And then number one uh, is without a doubt, Worthington State Forest, which is basically the portion of the Delaware Water Gap that is part of the New Jersey uh, State Parks system. Uh, and Worthington State Forest uh, really, really does live up to the reputation of the Delaware Water Gap as a national uh, recreation area. Uh, it has pretty much anything you want. It has swimming locations, it has great hiking, it has great views, also a place where bear sightings are, are definitely a possibility. Again, I don't know if you view that as a plus or a minus, but I think it's awesome if you get the opportunity to see a bear as long as it's from a safe distance. And yeah, uh, without a doubt, in my opinion, the most beautiful state park in the state of New Jersey. Definitely a place that you gotta check out. If you live in the state of New Jersey, you've never been to Delaware Water Gap, you gotta get there because it's beautiful. And if you can go in fall, even better because of the leaves changing colors, it's incredible. And so that concludes my top 10 state parks and forests 
in the state of New Jersey. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead, subscribe to my channel, comment, like, share this video. Uh, and if there's anything that you think I left out, state park or state forest, or even a recreation area or marina that you think should have been included on the list, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Help me discover new places that I can check out as well. Maybe I haven't been there yet, and I would love the opportunity to explore new places. And lastly, like I said, if you like this t-shirt, feel free to go ahead and purchase. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So that's all for this video. Hope you guys have a great day, and as always, happy travels.